What's going on everyone, it's Justin here, and today I'm back with another Budget Tech episode where I'm taking a look at some great gadgets that are priced under around $25, give or take. And some of them are even under $10, and I feel like because it's a back to school season, whether you're looking for something, if you're moving back to school, or you're like getting a new place or something, or you're just looking for some great gadgets at a budget price point, because on this channel, we take a look at a lot of smart home products that range in different price points. But I think what I really noticed is that you can find some awesome products products and some nice bundles in good price points. I'm also gonna be talking about some of like the software and subscriptions that I have that I feel like are really good tools for students that also come in at a relatively affordable price. If you guys would like to win some items from this video, just make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below of your favorite product, and I'll be picking a winner when this video hits 2,500 likes. So as always, all the items are gonna be linked in the description section below, so let's just go ahead and get started. So the first product that I can really recommend specifically to students is an iPhone wallet case. And this right here comes in at a price of about $12. And for any student who has like a student card, credit card, like all these like IDs and all that kind of stuff, you don't exactly always want to carry like a wallet and a phone because you're probably going to lose one or the other. But I've got to say, I don't know if it's just me, but I rarely lose my phone, but I lose my wallet all the time. This case is made out of TPU, leather, and also polycarbonate, so it does a really good job of being able to hold your cards and everything, or some cash, but at the same time provide some great protection to your phone as well. Because I imagine a lot of people do drop their phone quite often, and by being able to protect it for $12 while also having the wallet function is really nice. And if you look at the way that it's built, it has like a bit of a hybrid construction, a nice textured piece right here that is nicely cut out and grooved, and there's also a nice lip around the front to protect your screen if you drop your phone on its face. As you open it up, you'll also see that there is like a nice texture on the inside and all this kind of comes together to protect your phone and all the buttons are actually very tactile and you do have access on the bottom, but I probably would have liked it a little bit more if they just had the bottom completely open to make it even easier to plug everything in. But for $12, I mean, it is available for many different phone models. I just don't think you can go wrong at all and it just looks really nice. So the next product is one that also comes in at a very affordable price of about $13. And this right here is a five port expander for any wall outlet. So if you're moving into like a dorm, you might be limited in terms of like power outlets and everything. So you wanna be able to charge your laptop, your phone, maybe plug in your monitor and any other accessories that you have. And this is a really good way to be able to expand that while also giving you some USB ports to charge some basic devices as well. For the price, I think you really can't go wrong. It is surge protected, which is is a feature that you should definitely look for when you're finding any power accessory because you've got like expensive stuff plugged into it you don't want to risk any damage in the event that the power goes out suddenly just looking at some of the features you have your one port on the front you also have the other four on the side pretty typical nothing too special about that but you do also have a total of four usb ports as well including three that are usb type a and also one that is usb type c for the price i feel like the additional ports are already worth it but the usb port are also nice as well they just aren't anything special it's about 2.4 amps on each of the outputs and 3 amps on the USB type C so you're not gonna get like any sort of fast charging or anything but the next accessory I'm going to show you is a relatively affordable fast charger that can allow you to charge your smartphone whether it is an iPhone or Android a lot faster so the next product is one that really goes with the one that I just featured, and it is a 30 watt wall charger. It comes from a brand like Anchor that is very reputable in a power space, whether it's battery packs or chargers, and it comes in at a price point of under $20, which is a lot more affordable than what Apple charges for their 18 watt wall charger. So. This is essentially one that is like very simple in its concept. It comes in black and white. It also has like a flip out prong, which is easy for travel. It's a very good size. It feels nice and durable. But on the back, you're gonna find two USB ports, including a USB type C and also a type A. The USB Type-C is able to charge it up to 18 watts and the Type-A is able to charge at 12 watts. So either way, you're getting a big speed improvement from just the actual power expander that I just mentioned, which comes in at a price of $13. But the great thing about this is that you can kind of take advantage of the fast charging on your smartphone or particularly the iPhone. And if you want to go ahead and travel or take this with you to class, then you can just flip it up, throw it in your backpack and you're good to go. The reason why it's called the 30 watt charger though is that the combined speed is 30 watts. So if you wanna plug one thing into each port and charge them at the exact same time, you can do that no problem. 
So whenever we're doing like these budget tech episodes, I try to find certain things that are able to kill two birds with one stone because at the end of the day, that is where you see the value. So in this case, you have a lamp that can go on your nightstand, but it also has USB ports and also power ports to really allow you to expand the functionality instead of just being a lamp. This right here is from Kozu and it comes in at a price point over $25, but it's still relatively close and often goes on sale. But it not only comes with the light bulb, so you don't have to go and buy anything separately, but it has like a nice warm glow as well. But what I really like it for is that it still looks very minimal and stylish, but it also has the three USB ports on the front to go ahead and charge a smartphone. And if you want to like plug in something else, then you can also do so right here. I think for any student out there, this is gonna be a very popular product, but there are also options with like wireless chargers if you want to be able to use that functionality. And I feel like it definitely makes sense because I personally don't use wireless charging during the daytime because it's a little bit too slow. But if I'm going to bed and gonna be away from the phone for six to seven hours anyways, then wireless charging is perfect because when you wake up, you can just grab your phone instead of having to like reach over and unplug it. Before I move on to the next product though, I wanna give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Keeper Security and their Password Manager. For any student out there, you're gonna have a lot of accounts, whether it's to get into the school platform, the external learning platforms, the textbook platforms, and a lot of times, depending on the security of each one, it can be very overwhelming to try to remember all of your password, especially if you're just trying to log in very quickly. The best part about Keeper Security, aside from being at a good budget price per month, is that it actually helps you create a very secure password up to 100 characters Characters, and it's like a specific code as opposed to one that is the same as what you've used since you're in elementary school. From there, it also has a great autofill setting. So whenever you're on like your phone, your tablet, your computer, or anything that you're logged into with the mastered password, it is able to automatically fill it for you very fast and also very secure. So as always, if you guys wanna go in and check out Keeper Security and their password manager for yourself, I've got a link on screen and in the description section below that gives you 30% off. So I know we've talked a lot about power products in this video, but I feel like it just makes a lot of sense to have both some options that are good for like in the house and also on the go. And this right here is a Belkin portable surge protector and it's great to take with you to class because of its form factor. So you'll see that it has three ports right here. It also comes in a six port option and there is also two USB type A ports and a protection light on the front. What I like about this though is that it is very versatile because you can actually just press this button right here and rotate the position of the plug. So if you ever want to like have it in like a horizontal or also like a vertical configuration, you can definitely do that. And if you have like a laptop, phone or like a tablet, then you can just connect to all these ports because I know a lot of times in class, there are a lot of people trying to find the power port and there just isn't enough for everyone. So I think something like this paired with like the wall charger and also like an at-home setup is a good way to have all of your power solutions covered all at very affordable prices. So one smart home tech product that I've recommended many times before is a smart plug. And the reason why is because for 25 bucks, you get four of them. So whether you have like a light or like just like other accessories, the options are limitless, but essentially this is a plug that goes into the wall and you can either press it to turn it on and off manually. But the best part is that you can also connect it to your smartphone and through Wi-Fi, you can just toggle it on or off from anywhere in the room or the place. And these have always been very reliable. It's from a company, TP link which makes a lot of routers and great accessories like that so it's been very easy to recommend and it's definitely one that I think everyone should have around the house and it's like the first step into setting up a smart home at a very affordable price so yeah, I actually use these exact ones around the house and in the office just to have like schedules for lights that turn off and on at certain hours. So because I'm at the office between nine to six, I have like the feature media light and like the bar light all turned on throughout those times and it automatically shuts off on the schedule that I set it to. And if I ever wanna turn it off, I can just walk over and press a button right here or control it from my phone. So yeah, you can literally use it for anything, but I think for lights in particular, it is super handy. So another area that you can have your power solutions covered is with a backup battery. And these last for years and years, whether you're traveling or anytime you're on the go, it's just really nice to have a portable backup battery. And this is a really good size of about 10,000 milliamp hours. So it could actually charge your phone multiple times. You can charge your AirPods or any other headphones and accessories. And you don't have to worry about having to recharge it every single day because it has multiple charges within a relatively slim form factor that is easy to throw in the backpack. This is from Anchor, it comes in at a price of about $25, and it also has all your port types covered. You've got USB Type-C and also micro USB, as well as your USB Type-A. 
The micro USB is what it uses to charge up, whereas the USB type C and the USB type A port provides up to 18 watts of charge, which I would say is a pretty respectable speed for something that is on the go. I also really like the texture on the front. I think it stays very durable and over time, even if there is some wear, it's still going to look like it's in good shape because the previous ones that I had just had like a smooth finish and I found they got beat up pretty quickly. There's also an LED indicator light that has 10 different lights that gives you a really good detail of how much power you actually have left. And you can also charge using the USB type A and type C port at the exact same time. So I think it's like a really nice like must have accessory that I absolutely live by and have for a while. So the next product is one that is like very simple and traditionally could cost a lot less if you were just to go with like a paper notebook. But at the price of $26, some of the features with the Rocketbook, I feel like make it very worth it for the long run because it not only allows you to very easily scan and sync your notes, but it is also a completely reusable notebook. So you can just like continue to have it for many years down the road without having to replace it. So yeah, essentially what it is is what it sounds like. You have your um, paper right here and you just go ahead and do your notes as you would with this erasable pen, which I remember I used some of these in high school and they're always super cool. And once you're done, you just go ahead and scan the note and with the QR code, everything is very nicely organized and synced to the cloud. Nowadays, everything is on the cloud. So to be able to like study with like your PDF textbooks or share it with friends, it just makes things a lot easier because I personally never liked using paper notes because if you lose that notebook, then you pretty much lost everything. The AI technology also makes it very easy to search through your notes through the font detection. So I think that's a really good feature, especially if you have a ton of them. So yeah, this is like a pretty cool, like kind of tech blend with a very traditional product that we featured in the past. And I think for any student out there who really wants to utilize the platform and the software that it's compatible with, you'll definitely see why this is worth it. So one of my favorite accessories of the year is the Apple AirTag. And this is one that comes in at a price of about $30. But if you buy the pack of four, the per unit cost ends up being $25. So it fits into the budget of this video, kind of. And if you can find a few friends that are also looking for AirTags, which shouldn't be too hard, then you can go ahead and buy that set and just split amongst you guys. The reason why the AirTag is good is because it's Apple's ecosystem. So if you're an iPhone user, you're gonna get the best experience from the Apple AirTag as opposed to something like a Tile or a Chipolo which I have recommended in past years because they were affordable. Apple's price is a little bit higher, but I still feel like it is a really good value and they have that right to charge the premium because it is a first party accessory, but it not only uses the Find My iPhone app to find the keys, but it also uses Apple's like beacon network where other users of Find My iPhone can actually link the location of your key if you lose it outside of the actual wireless range. So the next product is one that comes in at just $4 and it's overall very self-explanatory. It is a webcam cover. And I've seen a lot of people use different methods, whether it's some tape. And the reason why you don't wanna do that is because it might leave like a bit of residue or coating on your computer display and that is not good. The pack of six allows you to give it to anyone that you might know and to install it, just go ahead and stick it on. And it has like a bit of a slide cover that is able to let you have the camera on or off at any time. It's overall very thin and doesn't look too bad, but I don't really have much to say about this. I think it's just like an essential accessory that is really cheap and is like a replacement for a lot of like the DIY homemade methods of covering your camera. If you're looking for a nice budget keyboard, the K380 from Logitech is one that I've also been recommending for many years because you can find like a used or a refurb one for about $23. And the new one is also relatively inexpensive, but it is just a wireless keyboard that looks good and has a great battery life. And it's also very reliable in its connectivity. It isn't anything special in terms of its feature or typing experience. And some might even find the circular keys to be very uncomfortable. But if you're looking for something that is completely wireless and can definitely up your product Activity, if you add like a monitor and plug your laptop in, then I think the K380 is a keyboard that you just can't go wrong with, especially because you can connect it to multiple devices as well. So you can just have one keyboard for everything. Another great software for any student though is Notion. And I use this for my business in terms of having all of the campaigns and the schedule planning and all that kind of stuff. And essentially the reason why it is so good is because it is not only good for like note taking and organization, but also for planning your own tasks. And I think for like any visual people out there like myself, I felt like Notion was like an extension of my brain and there really wasn't any other types of software that was able to do that before. It comes in at a budget price of like around $10 a month, but there 
is also a free option as well. So it's honestly just something that I use and I really enjoy. And for any students out there, I think you should definitely look into it. Another piece of software that I can also really recommend is Setup because they have a whole collection of hundreds of applications that come in at a relatively budget price point. A lot of times there are a ton of apps that you might want to try and see if they work within your workflow, but by then you would have spent a ton of money on all these unnecessary subscriptions. And the best part about Setup is that they brought together the best ones and at a flat rate, you're able to download and try any of them and as many of them to see how they fit within your workflow. And if you do decide to use it, then you get the full version with that subscription. So like personally, I've tried some of the photo apps. They also have like productivity apps and ones that help you with like your schedule planning and also finance planning. So even if you wanna try it for like a few months and see if there's an app in the collection that makes sense for you, I think it is definitely worth it. And being made by MacPaw, it also has Clean My Mac included, which is something that I've used for as long as I could remember to maintain the computer and delete all like the unnecessary like cache files, run like maintenance scripts and all that kind of stuff in an all-in-one app. Even if you just find like a few that you believe are worth it, the subscription does kind of pay itself off instead of having multiple individual subscriptions if you were to go and get each of these programs separately. Another program that I've also been using recently is Milanode. And I just find it's a great idea to like visualize all of your ideas. The best way to describe Milanode is like a digital cue card. So you can have like all these different like sections of like notes that you may have taken from class, add any photos, clip any resources. And if you're doing like a project where you have to compile a lot of information, I think Milanode is nice for organizing ideas. I find like Notion is really good for like workflow and like schedule organization within the company. But some of the things that I don't like about it is that the app just sucks and I also feel like it isn't as like visual as Milanote is especially if you're including stuff like photos. So yeah, like as someone who really doesn't like to use like new software, my general workflow is with Notion and Milanote, as well as running maintenance on the computer with Clean My Mac. I also use Dropbox, which is a little bit more expensive because we use it for like commercial purposes and need a ton of storage. But that is like kind of my all-in-one toolbox. And if I was still a student today, those are the ones that I would use. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it or like found something that is gonna be useful for the back to school season or in general. And if you guys did, make sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.